guys. Property Princess here. And look who we brought back. We got Sean Humphreys from Dominion Lending, Edge Financial. So if you don't remember, in January, we gave you a special on what's happening in the, in the whole real estate and mortgage world. And now we're back again to say, okay, that was January 1st. Here we are. We're in February, close to Valentine's Day. That means spending some money, hopefully. <laughs> but we're also here to tell you about what's happened since then. So I'm going to pass it along to Sean, and Sean's going to fill us in with what you've seen happen in your world mm -hmm. now, because it's like, what, about 45 odd days, we would say? Yeah, so we're, you know, six weeks in or so. Mm -hmm. um, I still think it's still a little early to be able to make any big conclusions on here's what the mortgage rule changes have done to the market. We're definitely seeing a lot less supply out there. Um, we're seeing some muted demand, um, uh, but I think that's really typical of what a January should feel like. Okay. Um, and I mean, in comparison to January 2017, where things were really out of control and the market was super hot, um, it does feel a lot slower. The numbers you're gonna see are all gonna be very skewed. Um, I, I saw something like 22% less um, uh, less demand or uh, the oh fifty percent less listings and but that is kind of or sorry fifty percent more listings and that is really in line with what a, a typical January has been over the last five to ten years so yes with the exception it, of one year being unusual exactly okay. but with the exception of last year being a complete outlier this year looks really wonky but if you look at the long-term trend it's it's on it's on point Okay, and so tell us a little bit what's going on with interest rates. Like one day we're hearing they're rising, mm -hmm. one day we have no idea what's going on. Yeah, I think uh, day to day um, it's a uh, you know, new story every day it seems. Um, typically, if I were to make a headline, it would be that interest rates are rising. We've been hearing from our, um, so the fixed rates are rising. Um, in terms, so there's two that we might think about. So the fixed rate, which is tied to um, the five-year bond yield, mm -hmm. that rate has been rising and can pretty consistently over the last couple of uh, of, of weeks. Um, but also there's the variable rate, which is the uh, based on the Bank of Canada's benchmark rate. Okay. And that did change in in December, but now we're not expecting that's going to go up considerably over the next. Um, over the next little while. So people don't need to panic and, and know that there's there's still great rates out there. For sure. And there still will be plenty of opportunity. Yeah, if you look at the if you look at the rates and how they align with um, the long term, like over the last 10, 20 years, they're still at very, very low rates. Um, 10 years ago, we were around 5% for our mortgage rates. Now we're somewhere in the three and a half range. So that's still very low. It's still very cheap money. Um, obviously, it's higher than it was this time last year, but we're still in a low uh, rate I always call people fortunate. I mean, I remember when I took out my first mortgage, and I think it was like 11% or something. There's something crazy wow. like that, a 9 or 11%. So when we think about you know interest rates and how fortunate we are to have them, even still this relatively low, that means this is opportunity to get in, and still is. Yeah, absolutely. There's yeah. still uh, lots of opportunity. Toronto is still a great city. Um, or still, GTA. GTA, <laughs> sure. Yeah, the GTA is still a great place to live. There's lots of jobs here, great transportation, um, and it's a place that people want to be. So it's a good investment. So there you have it. So that's the latest on what's going on in the whole market side. And in case you have questions, I know I sent you over the weekend a mortgage calculator that you can play with if some of you are thinking about refinancing or thinking about buying or selling and trying to figure that all out. And if that doesn't make sense, then just call us. <laughs> um, and if you want more tips and tricks, look forward to seeing Sean again next month, and we will talk to you soon. Have an awesome Monday. Thank you.